Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce, and today we're going to review the inside the waistband leather holster made by K-Tactical. I was going to put this review, going to tack this review on the back end of a general holster review. I bet you didn't know this bench was on rollers now. <laughs> but I, um, I decided to make a specific video just on the, the K-Tactical holster because I had many of you ask for a review on, a, on an inexpensive leather inside the waistband holster because I'm a fan of Kydex, but a lot of you guys are not, which is fine. You know, just different strokes, different folks, as my grandmother used to say. So I found a leather holster that's inside the waistband, is economical, and works well, made by K-Tactical. I'm wearing it right now, right there. This has got my Ruger LCP in it, and we're gonna take a look at it right now. A quick note for YouTube, all the firearms shown in today's video are completely free and clear of ammo, and there's no ammo in this section of the bunker. So we are all nice and safe here. I normally don't tuck in my t-shirts, but I did that for display purposes, of course. And just for your information, I have been um, an active concealed carry person since the 90s. I got my first carry permit from Tennessee in the 90s when they pretty much first started, started issuing them. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go from open carry to concealed carry. And you really don't see that K-Tactical holster there. It does a pretty good job of concealing a, well, it's a Ruger LCP. Those are pretty easy to conceal anyway, but this thing just really makes it disappear. And it's pretty comfortable too. Now there are many, many different types of inside the way it's been leather holsters, many brands out there, and many of them are priced uh, very economical. Now some of them are stupid expensive, but many of them are in the 20 to $30 range, which is about where you want to be for a concealed carry holster. Anything above that, you're really, you're really overpaying for the most part. You can find a decent holster for under 30 bucks usually. And the K-Tactical is no, no difference. Now, that being said, I, I'm not gonna tell you that the, this holster is the best out there for the money. I don't know. I don't have the kind of budget to buy 30 or 40 different brands of holsters and compare and contrast them for you on camera. But I can tell you that this particular one is very, very decent. Let's, uh, let's talk about the advantages. The good things are, it came straight out, ready to fit. It was preformed for the exact pistol. And you can see it says Ruger LCP leather holster on it. So it is specifically made for the gun type, that the model that you were ordering it for. The stitching is very well done on here. It is definitely, it's not amateur hour. This is definitely done by a professional on a professional machine. Uh, pretty much what you'd expect from a professionally made leather product out there. This is not something being made by some random dude in his basement. The back of the holster, as you can see, extends up far enough to shield you from the pistol and shield the pistol from you. And that's the most important part of it is that you can, your the oils and acids in your skin can actually rust up your pistol. And I've actually done that. When I first got this, I took it to the farm. I wore it around for a little bit. Then I took it to the farm and I did some, some training with it. I always recommend you train with your specific setup. And since I'll be carrying this for quite some time, which I have for about a month, I've been carrying this for about a month. And I went down to the farm and I did some, did some practice draws uh, with live fire practice drills. And it did pretty well. It's a little bit awkward just because the, not because the holster for the most part, it is the pistol. The, the Ruger LCP is an awkward firearm at, at best. Now I had just come down to the farm to get some B-roll footage. I wouldn't really expect them to be on camera too much as far as speaking goes. But while I was cleaning up, I found something interesting, which was the jacket from the full metal jacket bullets I was shooting today. The jacket got stuck behind the head of the bolt on my steel target. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's a first. I've never seen that before. You know, you shoot enough, eventually you see just about everything. Now, I've gone over all the good things about the key tactical holster. What are the bad things? Well, one of the bad things is something you're going to find in most leather holsters. 
meant for concealed carry, and that is retention. It does not hold onto a pistol as well as a Kydex holster because there's no, there's nothing in there to really clip into the trigger guard like the Kydex holsters do. And in fact, if you move this upside down, I'm holding it right now, but it falls right out. So you're not going to be doing any kind of a squat thrust or any kind of um, gymnastics with this under your belt. Now, once you put this on and cinch your belt down somewhat, it will help the retention quite a bit, but it's never gonna be as good as a Kydex holster. That's just the nature of the beast with leather holsters. They will break in and loosen up a little bit over time. And as you, as they warm up with your body heat, they will get even, even more loose. That's just, again, nature of the beast. If you want the comfort of leather, you're gonna have to deal with that. Another issue, is that I like to wear a very thick belt. I like these buffalo, these buffalo belts. Got this one right here. This is too thick for the spring clip on the holster, which I'm, I'm gonna assume that all the K-Tactical holsters use the same clip. And it is just too big, or the belt is just too big for this clip. It does not, go all the way over and then clip in. It's just too thick. If you're a reloader, you should already have a good set of calipers. I'm in millimeters. This is America. Okay, if your belt is less than a quarter inch, you're probably okay. <laughs> this, is a, this is almost a third of an inch thick. It's a pretty thick belt. I like that. But if your belt is thinner than that, if it's about a quarter inch or thinner, then the K-Tactical spring steel clip should be fine. So at the end of the day, do I do is recommend the K-Tactical leather inside the waistband holster? Um, yes, after 20 years of concealed carry, I got my permit in the 90s, and I've been carrying since then pretty much on a daily basis. I can say that the K-Tactical holster is a good holster for a, as far as leather holsters go, this is a good inside the waistband holster at a good price. If you wanna spend more, you can get something with a plastic insert inside the leather holster that does clip into the trigger guard and really retain that pistol really, really well. But those are features that you have to pay extra for. And this is just a quick video that I put together for you guys asking for a specific brand recommendation for an inside the waistband leather holster option. So here you go. Now I will be making a general holster review on just different types of holsters, when to use what and why. So be on the lookout of that, that'll be out in a couple of weeks probably. But this is a good option for, for you to look at right now. If you wanna stay on Deuce and Guns channel, go ahead and click on one of these two videos right over here. Now we keep you watching away. If you have any comments, questions, or a show it is, leave that in that comment box of the video. I'll try to get to as many of those as possible. If you wanna leave a like, that will greatly help my channel out. And as always, you guys, have a great day. See ya.